What's up guys, Johnny Yusuf here and today I want to talk to you guys about credit cards. What you're seeing right here, these are 36 credit cards that are under my name. That's right, I have 36 credit cards that I use and they changed my life in the real estate investment world. Now let me preface a couple of things. First of all, I'm not getting paid by any of them to promote them. This is just me sharing my experiences and what really helped my business. Secondly, I know that a lot of you will see this and the first thing I'm gonna hear is, our father, Dave Ramsey, taught us that credit cards are evil. We can't believe that you're doing this, Johnny. You are partaking in something evil. And let me say this, Dave Ramsey is great. I've watched some of his material, not a lot, but few of his material and listened to him. And he has great tips on how to get out of debt. He has helped literally millions of people getting out of debt and making wiser decisions with their spending habits and with their investing. That being said, I don't think that you can use Dave Ramsey as the one person with the rules that everyone needs to follow. Because Dave Ramsey is very focused on how to get you out of spending addiction and how to get you to spend wisely and invest wisely but he's very minimal when it comes to any risk taking in my opinion and also i think he's great for someone that has issues with with spending and budgeting um, and if you do if you have issues with credit card debts uh, addiction bad spending habits just go ahead and don't listen to this because you're probably not ready for it but if you're like a lot of people that are responsible have decent self-control, credit cards can change your life to the better. So, that being said, I don't dislike Dave Ramsey, I think he's great, but I do not abide by his rules and everything he says for me. If you're someone that feels the need to have, you know, different envelopes with different cash for different spending and, you know, never get a credit card, great for you, not for me. I want to preface, I've never ever had to pay interest on any of my credit cards. So if you're someone that thinks that you're gonna get a credit card and then you're gonna start putting money that you don't have and pay interest, do not do it, do not listen to this and just go watch something else. But if you're like me, who can be responsible, only spend what you need and spend the money that you have already in your account so that you can pay off every bill at the end of each month and you don't pay any interest or late fees, then these, my friends, can be magical. They can get you free flights, they can get you free everything, and they can give you tons of benefits and be an asset, not a liability. If you don't have self-control, don't do it. All right, so let's talk about why in the world do I have that many credit cards? There are a few reasons. Let's start with the first one. So the first one is I have these credit cards because of the rewards. With my business as a real estate rehabber, we spend a lot of money to rehab properties for purchasing material, drywall, and you know, uh, kitchen cabinets, all these things, and they cost a lot of money. When I put them on credit cards, I get points or cash back. And by doing that, it actually amounts to a lot of rewards at the end of the year. In fact, I have traveled in over 80 flights, probably a lot more, but I know the ones I recorded are over 80 flights completely free because of credit cards using those points. So rewards are amazing. Secondly, the benefits. Let me give you an example. This American Express credit card right here, it's giving you me a whole year access to any WeWork office. If you're not familiar with WeWork, it's like a co-working space. They have a bunch of them across the world. And if I go anywhere where they have uh, one of the WeWork office with this card, I have subscription to go in and use it. That's $250 a month subscription that I have with my credit card. Also, this card right here gives me two points for everything I spent. You know, free baggage, free baggage and lounge. I have free TCA, 5% return on my lows, Southwest points for flights. I mean, it's amazing. So second reason besides rewards are the benefits that I'm getting. B besides, you know, getting points back and cash back, I'm actually getting the benefits of staying in a nice lounge when I have, you know, a long layover or, you know, I have insurance on my car rentals without having to pay that extra insurance fees when I'm going to rent a car. I have discount on flights, I have discount on hotels. So I get amazing benefits just by having um, those credit cards. Thirdly, one thing I love about credit cards is that 
most of them have really good analysis so that at the end of the year or even during the year if you want to kind of see where your spending habits are unlike a lot of bank accounts where they don't really offer that in the statements credit card statements a lot of them not all of them have very sophisticated yet simple statements that can show, show you where your spending is so I get to know okay this month I've spent 20% of my spending went to this 30% went to that 10% went for coffee and then I can get to choose and decide how I can improve Proof budgeting and spending and investing and fourthly with having so many projects and different different things happening by having different credit cards I can assign a credit card per project so that things don't get messed up or I'm not sure if this receipt was for this purchase or that purchase I can have everything organized and it makes it really simple when it's time for taxes and it, uh, it it just helps with avoiding errors so credit cards are amazing uh, they have changed my life now I know some of you guys are gonna want to know you know okay you talked about you know rewards you talked about benefits you talked about how uh, they're great with analysis you talked about how they're great with organization so these are the four things but a lot of you guys are gonna want to know exactly which credit cards should we use what's best for me and my lifestyle so I'm gonna get into that in the next video. What I'm gonna do is if you guys like this, just let me know you liked it. Ask the questions that you wanna ask and I'll do a follow-up video with more on credit cards because I have a lot of experience. And I'll even share the credit cards that I do not recommend. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what kind of questions you have and we'll do this again. Thanks for watching, guys.